The Cursed Child book was released in 2016. I've read the books four times and I thought it'd be cool to make a video about it. Especially after most Harry Potter fans disliked the book. So in this video, we're gonna see nine contradictions in The Cursed Child. First, let's start with the characters from the Harry Potter books and how they changed in The Cursed Child. Harry Potter, the hero we knew from the original series, was modest and kind to everyone. He was most of the times calm, except sometimes when Voldemort was inside his head. Harry also was shy of his fame. He doesn't like to show off. The Harry in The Cursed Child was completely different. He was mean and sometimes arrogant. The way he treats his son was awful, with the line, well, there are times I wish he weren't my son. Also his conversation with McGonagall when he said, you don't have children. Seeing it as he wasn't the Harry we knew, and I'm dead sure Harry would never say such a thing to McGonagall. Harry even used to sign photographs, and again that's not the Harry we've seen in the original books. Now let's move on to Hermione. Hermione in the original series was known as shy and smart, but not really confident. Here in The Cursed Child, she has grown significantly dumber and has lost her wit. They also made her the Minister of Magic. Well, Hermione would work in the Ministry, but never would be the Minister of Magic. Ron in the books wasn't the most skilled or the most intelligent, but he held the trio together. His humor and his good heart were insensual. But here in The Cursed Child, all he does is cracking jokes and making pranks. They made him look more like Fred and George in a terrible manner. They besides made him look so dumb in his behavior in many scenes. Now let's get to Voldemort. Voldemort in the original books was described as he never knew love. But when we came to the cursed child, we found out that Voldemort had a child with Bellatrix. So basically he had sex with her. That's something that shocked many people including me. Another thing here, Delphi, the daughter of Voldemort, was born in June 30, 1997, before the Battle of Hogwarts. At that time, Bellatrix was living with the Malfoys in their house. How couldn't all of them notice that she was pregnant? I mean, it's obvious if she really was. It seems like this book wasn't made based on the original books. Now, Pelagius Potion. I would say it would be written about a month, if we can get all the ingredients. A month? So it took Hermione a month to make Polyjuice Potion for Harry and Ron, while in The Cursed Child it took them a couple of minutes to make it for Harry so he could transfer him into Voldemort. Let's move to the Time Turners, which the whole book was based on. In the original books, we knew that all the Time Turners was destroyed in the Department of Mysteries in the Order of Phoenix, so the idea of creating a whole story about bringing back two Time Turners is terrible. In the original books, the time turner that Hermione used took them back in time for a couple hours. In the cursed child, however, you can fly in time as far back as you want, but it can only keep you there for 5 minutes. But that's not all. Almost in the end of the book, they had to go back in time to save Scorpius and Albus from Delphi. So probably the writer thought the idea of 5 minute time turner won't be used for this time. So they brought another time turner that has unlimited time. This looks like a terrible fanfiction story. Another thing here is Harry's scar. The last line from the Deathly Hallows book was the scar had not painted Harry for 19 years, all was well. But then suddenly Harry's scar starts hurting him again, just because he's dreaming of Voldemort. And also the Perthethong. It's well known that after Voldemort destroyed his own Horcrux inside of Harry, he was no longer able to speak Perthethong. But in The Cursed Child, however, Harry can speak Perthethong. It actually doesn't make any sense. Because if Harry is having dreams about Voldemort, it doesn't necessarily mean that he can speak Persethong again. And maybe the last thing here is Hogwarts. We can see Delphi sneaking into Hogwarts grounds and saying that she made it inside easily. Hogwarts is well known that it's safe. It's actually the safest place in the wizardly world, with a great organized security. Even skilled Death Eaters couldn't get inside it. And it's still not explained yet how she managed to do that. 